Hi and welcome to Green Door Gourmet. I'm here at the Marketplace and today I'm going to show you a little bit about cooking with greens. We have a lot of different greens on the farm. We have turnip greens, kale, mustard and collard greens as well as a variety of Asian greens such as bok choy, tak soy and Chinese cabbage. And so today I'm going to show you how to uh, cook some sautéed mustard greens. So I've got some great produce from the Long Hungry Creek Farm as well. Uh, I'm using one of their candy onions and some of Jeff's famous garlic. So first of all, cut your onion in half from top to bottom and then remove either end of the onion and then remove the peel. You want to take off any of the papery outer layers of onion as well and you can save these for a stock. Once you have the onion peeled, you want to have the cut sides uh, facing toward and away from you. And then using a sharp knife, go in from the side at about a quarter of an inch. And you just want to angle it in a little bit so that when you get to the center of the onion, you have a nice even cut. And then turn the onion around and repeat that process. And you'll have nice even strips of onion. And so at this stage I'm going to turn on my pan and preheat that whilst I crush some of the wonderful garlic. And so I'm just going to remove the stem ends there. And then using the back of your knife, simply crush the garlic. Once you've crushed the garlic, then just roughly chop it up a couple of different ways. Doesn't need to be too fine. And then we're ready to cook. So once the pan at medium heat, add a little bit of olive oil, a couple of teaspoons, and then pop the onions in. We're going to let those saute for just a minute. The greens, it's important to triple wash the greens and that means um, immersing them in some nice clean cold water and then uh, removing them, letting them drain emptying that water and then repeating that process three times and that way any grit and dirt that may be left underneath the leaves and along the stems is washed away and that way you won't get any grit in your final product and so once you have your leaves uh, washed simply hold them by the stem pull off the leaves by holding the stem and those leaves will just slip off nicely and you'll just be left with the tender parts of the leaf this works well for uh, greens that are uh, large and more mature. These are just tender baby greens. And so smaller, smaller leaves like so you can just leave whole. And so once the onions begin to color, at that point you want to throw in your garlic and just stir that in a little bit. Starting to smell really good with the onions and now that garlic is going to caramelize a little bit in there with the pan and then simply throw your greens in. Even though they're coming out of the pan and it looks like there's a lot of them, they're going to cook down a fair bit. So just allow the garlic to cook in the pan for about 30 seconds. The greens will be starting to wilt with the heat in the pan and then before the garlic begins to burn and you get too much color on your onions, we're going to add a little bit of fresh chicken stock. You're going to use about a cup of chicken stock and you can hear how that sizzled as it got to the bottom of the pan. And what that's doing is lifting up a lot of the caramelization off the bottom of the pan. And that flavor is going to be now in the chicken stock. And so we're just going to let those greens steam in that chicken stock. And we're going to season it with a little bit of salt and pepper. We'll let that cook for about a minute or two. And as you can see, the greens that were above the pan have now wilted down. And it doesn't look like there's a whole lot in there. This is just uh, for a couple of servings. The onions are nice and bright and the greens are still nice and bright green as well. 
we're not trying to overcook them like a braise, but we're just trying to uh, wilt them and get that flavor from the onion and garlic into them. So I've seasoned them up and now they're ready to serve. It's great as a side dish with some beans and roasted chicken. <laughs>